Hello everyone, welcome to WS Cube Tech. In our today's video, we will be discussing about basics of Excel. How things work in Excel, what is a workbook, what is a worksheet, what is a ribbon, what are different tabs in Excel. We will be discussing all that in our today's session. First of all, let's open Excel for that. The version that I'm using is 2021. And over here on the top, we have good morning and here we have a blank workbook. So if you want to open a blank workbook, you can click on blank workbook. Uh, also, we have a home button. We have a new button which will allow us to open a new blank workbook. And we also have an open option which allows us to open a previously created Excel workbook or worksheets. Okay. Now let's open a blank workbook over here. Once you click on a blank workbook, this is how the interface of Excel blank workbook looks like or Excel workbook looks like. Now, because we don't have any data, that's why these cells are empty. On the top, we have a ribbon. In ribbon, we have different tabs. We have file, we have home. We have insert, which allows us to insert different things. For example, slices, charts, or if you want to add shapes and pictures, we can use insert. The page layout allows us to lay out our page. Formulas have different formulas. So from here, you can access different formulas, some recently used formulas, some financial formulas. We have logical formulas, text, date and time, lookup, reference. And we also have math and trigonometric formulas. If you go to more functions, we have statistical, engineering, cube, information, compatibility and web based formulas. So this is the formula tab. Next, we have data tab. Data tab allows us to create or uh, obtain new files and folders. So if you want to open a new folder over here, like if you have a folder which has different Excel workbook or worksheets and you want to open it here, in that case, you can use get data and we have different options. For example, folder, Excel workbook, CSV file, XML, JSON data, or even you can get a data from a PDF as well. Similarly, if you want to get a data from a website, which is in a tabular format, then you can use from web as well. Also on the right, you will see flash fill, uh, remove duplicates, data validations, and different options that we'll be going through in this whole course. Then we have review option, view option. We also have developer option. The developer option might not be enabled in your case, for that, you need to go on files, you need to go on options. In options, you will find customize ribbon and make sure you click on the developer button, which is on the right hand side. So it will be disabled for you. Once you click on enable and click on OK, it will be enabled for you. The developer button allows you to create a VBA, Visual Basic Code. You can create macros or you can record macros over here as well. Then we have the help section. So this was the ribbon. This was the ribbon in Excel. Coming back to home page. Now the next thing that is here is a formula bar. So here we have a formula bar. In a formula bar, you can write formulas. So if you want to write any kind of formula, suppose if I write any value 56 and 67 over here. And if you want to give a formula to this cell, which would be a sum of these two cells. Then you can write your formula directly in the formula bar as well or you can write the formula in the cell as well. That choice is completely up to you. But this area is known as formula bar. Next is our cell grid. So in this grid, if I am clicking on any of the cell, you can see um, a number over here is changing, a value over here is changing. Here right now it's D4 which tells us that D is the name of the column and fourth is the number of row. If I move over here it tells us L11 which tells us L is the name of the column and 11 is the number of row. So this is our cell grid. At the bottom we have options to create multiple sheets over here. So this whole thing is an Excel workbook. This whole interface is of an Excel workbook and then you can create multiple sheets as per your convenience. If you want to delete them, you can delete them as well. If you want to rename them, you can rename them as well. If you want to create a copy of a sheet, you can do that too. You want to protect the sheet that no one, if you share the sheet, no one will be able to make any changes to it. You can protect the sheet as well. So this is how you can create new sheets. On the right hand side, suppose if I write anything in these cells and if I select these cells, so on the right hand side, you'll find the average, you'll find the count and you will find the sum of these values. So these are just for a quick look. So if you want to quickly look at the values, uh, let it be count, sum or average or anything, then you can just click over here. Now let's talk about filling the values inside it. 
to create a table or to write any data inside it we usually when we create a table this is how we do it suppose if i want to create a table based on my expenses the first thing that i would mention is date like on which day i have made any expense uh, what is the category of the expense what is the sub category of that expense and you can give a hyphen instead of an underscore sub category and how much amount you have paid for it and what was your payment mode so that we have a track of payment mode as well like uh, if you're using upi more or cash more or credit card more so payment mode would be our last thing okay so as you can see over here that subcategory it's not visible properly all you need to do is just go at the end of the column and double click over here and now you can see subcategory is completely visible okay so just click double click over here and it will adjust the column size according to your data now if i go to date you need to write date in this format like for example uh, let's say today's date is 22 and i want to create this whole sheet for my december expenses so let's do one thing i'll just use the upper grid like this and till w let's say and on the top we have merge in center which allows us to merge all these cells now you can write anything inside it for example december expenses okay select all you can increase this font size like this and you can fill the color for the text so suppose if you want to pick something light you can use something light you can also fill the color inside the cell so if i choose the cell here we have the option to fill the color so suppose this is the color that i want to choose this is how i will choose it okay so payment mode is also over here now you can start writing your date so let's say on 1st december i made my first payment uh the category would be let's say i paid a bill which was a phone bill and the amount was 1600 and the payment mode was upi okay similarly if you want to add another date let's say on 3rd of december you ordered food from zomato the cost was 230 and the payment mode was let's say upi again or you can write cash as well whatever your payment mode was okay so this is how you can create a data over here you can write data over here now it doesn't look like it, it is in a tabular format the date category subcategory the values over here they all look very similar if you want to change its format let's first also increase the size so i'll also increase the size for you as well okay now it doesn't looks like it's in a tabular format to make it a table to create a table over here all you need to do is select any cell over here which contains any value and press on control t control t gives you a shortcut to create a table also mention that my table has headers if you do not enable it see it will give you column one column two column three column four column five instead of this what you need to do is control t but make sure you enable this option that my table has headers now your column names would be date category subcategory amount or payment mode so control t is a shortcut but if you want to insert a table there is another way as well so i'll just go for control z again insert and you can see there's a table option over here and again you can create a similar table so shortcut is control t else you can go in insert and here also we have a tab, uh, table option don't go for a pivot table uh, we will be learning about pivot tables more ahead in the session as of now we just need to create tables so this is how we create a table you can add more values to it as well so suppose if i write 04 12 2023 and i made a little mistake okay and the category would be let's say uh, food again but in a restaurant and the amount that i paid was 340 and the payment was from a card okay so uh, this is how you can categorize your data like this and this is how your table would look like now you will notice something over here that whenever i'm writing a text it's on the left hand side of a cell 
whenever I'm writing a number, it's on the right hand side of a cell. Also, if I increase the uh, cell width of date, and let me just increase the cell width, the date also occurs on the right hand side, the amount also occurs on the right hand side, while at the same time, the text occurs on the left hand side of a cell. So, suppose if by mistake, I have written 30,000 for some reason, let's say I bought anything which costs 30,000. Okay, if I put a comma, that's fine. But if I have written a hyphen or anything else, it would consider it as a text, not as a number. So make sure that whenever you are writing a number, uh, no symbol should be there. Otherwise, it won't consider it as a number, but as a text. So these are just some basic things about Excel. In our next session, we will be discussing about different more features in Excel. For example, how flash fill works, how autofill works, how you can create columns out of different text. We'll be learning about it in our next session. So stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.